forces of erosion carved a series of canyons up to 140 feet deep, all in just hours. One formation has been called the Little Grand Canyon because of its similar features. It is about a 140th scale model of the Grand Canyon. Secular scientists point to the canyons around the world, like the Grand Canyon and Zion Canyon, and say that the small rivers in the bottoms of these canyons carved what we see today over millions of years. There are many reasons to suggest this is just not the case. A proper understanding of the evidence after actual observation of rapid canyon formation at Mount St. Helens led many researchers to conclude that to carve canyons of large magnitude, you need a lot of water in a short period of time, not the small rivers over millions of years. Contrary to what most scientists think, it isn't the river that carved the canyon. It was the canyon that formed and provided a passageway for the river to flow through. If one were to walk through this canyon using the uniformitarian model of long ages, they would imagine it took tens of thousands to millions of years for the North Fork of the Toodle River to carve this canyon. Yet, we know from eyewitness accounts that it happened very rapidly. We don't have direct eyewitness accounts to how the canyons around the world were formed. But we have the Bible, God's eyewitness testimony, that gives us a framework by which we can look at these other canyons and features. The biblical record and subsequent models, based on what we have observed from events we did witness, are the key to understanding these other canyons. Here at Mount St. Helens, we were able to see the landscape before these canyons were here, and we know the events and mechanisms which laid down the strata and carved the canyon through them. Because of the events at Mount St. Helens, even many secular geologists are junking the idea of millions of years for the formation of the Grand Canyon and are thinking in terms of catastrophe. But what type of catastrophe would have cut the Grand Canyon and other canyons around the world? You would have needed a lot of water over a short period of time. There's only one event recorded in human history that is the key to accomplish this, the flood of Noah's day as recorded in the Bible. Thank you.